The girl from Uwagadu. Oh, I guess I can't do it because I'm not required level yet. Wait, am I? I'm level 9. What do you mean? We're going to go to this first. Yeah, I was lying. That's far as shit. We're going to this first. But what's good, Lychee, bruv? What's the word for today? I can, yo, I cannot fly yet, bruv. I played this shit for five hours the other day, and look, I didn't even unlock the talent shit, bro. I don't know what I was doing for those five hours, but I wasn't playing the game, apparently. <laughs> but we're about to make our way to Herbology right now, man. We're about to progress. We're going to unlock it eventually. I know that much. What was this one? Okay. And what was this one? Right, right, right. I remember. Yeah, so what I plan on doing, right, is I got something to take care of around like 9, 10 o'clock. And then I figure whenever I get back, I'm going to start up again. I, ne I need to knock some hours in the next three, four days is what I'm saying. Because we have time. We actually have time, you know. So we need to progress. Yo, Rosers, what up? What up, Unk? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Yo, the audio's good, right? We're good? Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Yeah, we got to change those goggles How up ASAP. How it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Yeah, how old do you think uh, this professor Today, is? She looks young. With the a little too young to be a professor. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone... Grip their mandrake by the tendrils. You guys ready for this? Tug. Pull the mandrake. Wait, what? Yo, cast form. I got you for like the Sorry, next three hours or so. The root, like a warm, dirty and what up, Dingo? Putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Yeah, I just woke up not too long ago, man. We'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Yo, isn't Dittany, uh... That liquid that just heals you from any wound. What do you have to say, sir? The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Is that so? 
I wonder if hippogriffs like mockery. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. You know, you Let's figure with magic, we wouldn't even need time. Start. Just instantly do it, right? Lifless fancy or roses. Just cast the spell like Groas Maximus in, uh, Impedius right of map Meowis. Uh, please dis uh, disorder. Ten minutes. That's not bad. You can add fertilizer to this plant to increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a dunk. Composter. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yo, so how many of those Wigan Wild potions you think we're gonna need, man? Like, how much should we have at one time? Yo, Locks, what's up? Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Thank you. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian, and he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well. Thank you. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab oh, so we could collect all Just this. Mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Oh, left bumper and tap. What was it? This? How do we throw this bitch? Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're never Trust ever gonna me, use Amber. that. I was imagining it the entire time. You were. Or are I mean, we? Of course. You're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and death cap has more of them if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Other plants your parents wouldn't plant in the garden, huh? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. 
I'm most pleased to be Hold on. I'm about to just collect everything in this vicinity. I just have a feeling there's more. Wait, what's down here? Bro. Uh, what do we have to do for this? I don't. Fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I I already forgot. Uh, hold on. It was some spell, right? It turns me invisible. That ain't it. Rebellion. Yeah, how do we cast this? How do we cast that invisibility disillusionment? Uh Levioso, I guess, for now. Right, and then it was, uh, what do we do afterwards? Shit, why do I not, uh... <laughs> it wasn't just hit it, right? Hmm. Yo, my memory is so shot out. Lechi, who'd you time out? What'd it say? Alright, we'll come back to that eventually. Fuck, my memory's shot. Well I wish I received less of Off on another adventure. I know that disillusionment was the first step. And I don't remember afterwards. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages. Do you remember opening one of those prior though? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Yo, Yoshi, you might re you, you might remember. How do I open those chests with the eyeballs after I go invisible? <laughs> you probably know more than I do. Thank you, Professor. I think you just but opened it afterwards. Why was there no prompt for it? I think you'll probably need to rebelli over it, well right? The labor. As we have volunteers, Maybe. It's like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. And snake up on it. Did I not do that? Hold on. We're going back. We're going back. If we even remember where it's at. Relishing their new pots only cost me my damned hearing. Was it here? Nope. Uh, it was through this way, right? I used to write my poem. So we need a little bit of this, and we're just gonna do this anyway. Whoop. We got it, boys. Yo, but uh, it didn't give me that prompt before. Probably because I disillusioned right in front of it. What's this? Rebellion. Clearly, we could do something with this.
What happens if I just sneak up on a student? Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Yo, he didn't even, Before he only got it partially right. Here, Why are you giving him each points? Of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Yo, I read that people with like 4090s having problems Use as well. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't know how that's possible. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Because I'm on a 4070 right now, and you know... Haven't run into any issues yet, so I don't, I don't know how a 4090 is not able to. I feel like there, there's something wrong there. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank and you, from sir. From what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Yo, man, are we even going to be using this Adora's Potion? I feel like we're just going to cast spells, wig and weld, you know? Avada Kedavra whenever we get that. Because we are going to get it eventually. Yo, I'm Hufflepuff as well, fam. My me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. I feel like we're the only ones, though. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan World potion. Thank you. There are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me. I feel like the hair's not red her. enough to be a Weasley, right? But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone it's looking more brown than me. Brewing a Juris potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whoop of feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I got you. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. See, a smart man would have demanded a cut of what he's brewing, but whatever. Remember, precision is... 
Memorandum date, 31st of December, 1875, from our office, subject Borgen and Bergs. Borgen and Bergs has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more hours to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Huh. Where's this guy? Oh, I guess it's this. Damn, they plucked these fooper feathers from a cute ass little fooper. A well prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the fooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your endurous potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Hmm. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. No potion of wrong law residue. The potion is the recipe. The ingredients can be purchased from select shops and pop. I'm gonna assume we need one of these. Nope. One of these. I guess we just chill for 20 seconds. Is there any way to speed this up? And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get oh, so he's a Fred and George. Oh. He's just up to no good. Dragon dog, what happened? <laughs> well done, Garrett. <laughs> what now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, oh, Professor. No, man. It don't look too bad Another to me. Another point from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Yeah, how do you know? I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Yo, how did he know, man? I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. What's going on I here? I was expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. Level 10, boys! Plus 30 HP! Alright, where are we going from here? Let us make our way to... Wherever the hell this is. What's in the collections? What's this? Oh. Yo, Beef, take it. Yo, that's so far. Take it easy, Beef. Are we going on foot? Might as well sightsee in the process. My robes are going to reap. Alright, moving on, moving on, moving on. Yo, so you realize it just took us like 15 minutes to travel like 50 meters, right? We got 584 of these bitches left. I'm just saying. Rebellio. We're on the See, why can't we just. Yeah, uh, yeah, shortcut us, man. 
Like, why can't we just cut across this way? Just discovered something, you know? Climb up this. See, that's the problem with GPS and suggesting easy routes. You know, give us the quickest path. I know we're gonna run into a big ass roadblock eventually, though. What is this? Uh, uh. I think we just dive. Oh, shit. Yo, is it just me, or did we take no damage for that? You could climb that, sir. You could climb this, sir. Come on. Okay, okay. Looks like we'll just follow the GPS. It's telling me to go up here. Good stuff. Oh, I think we just screwed ourselves, boys. I think we're about to go make this route a lot longer than we should have, because I have no... Oh, my God. I think we screwed up royally. Or did we? Is this salvageable somehow? Swimming up, up the... Sir. There you go, there you go. I know you could do it. I know you could do it. Now. Only if you could do this somehow. Oh ho 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 ho! Woo! We got vertical leap! Don't lie, you guys never thought I had that, did you? Don't lie. Fuck. I guess we gotta go on that bridge? That don't look right. Hold on. It is good to see you, my friend. It is good to see you. Just give me a minute, because all I see is these circles on a damn mini-map. Can I stop you from watering? Yo, but the next three days, we streaming hard. I'm playing like a good 30 hours of this game on stream the next three days. Don't take my word for that. Don't even, don't even quote me on that. But I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pretty hard on the game, okay? That's all I'm saying. Search, search. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Sheep, go! Ooh, what's in here? Hmm, nothing. Can I pet this? Can I ride him? Imagine that it had a hop on option, and then you just cast a spell like, giddy up. Anyway, all right, mission time, mission time. It is good to see you, my friend. It is good to see you. Give me a second. Facial. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking... Yo, why does it sound like our dude has a double you? voice? You don't mind me asking, why are they, uh... We're just gonna be all secrets throughout the whole game. Just be very vague with everybody. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing the Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Yo, man, how come we're friends with everyone besides anyone in Hufflepuff? I just realized she's in Gryffindor. That other dude's in Slytherin. Like, I, I thought the houses stick together, man. Their friends are only inside of the house. Well, for the most part. 
close friends, you know? Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. <laughs>